Hello YouTube, G4 here. Hope everybody's had a good weekend. It got turned rainy today. It's supposed to gonna be like that for a couple of days, so probably be staying in. So I'm gonna figure I'd do a video. I'm kind of just got one TTM in, but for me it's for me it's a good one because the from my favorite show and got a bunch of cards. Me and my brother both did. So I'm just going to get to them. These first bunch are all uh, Star Trek. Uh, th this is just a promo card that the guy threw, threw me in for buying the, what we did. So that's a good extra. All, all these are from the women of Star Trek. So yeah. These are the art cards. Insert. That's to Paul. Janeway. I wish that was focused. But I believe you can see them. And then Bellana. These next two are uh, acetate cards. So then we'll have to Paul and Beverly Crusher. Uh, two relic cards. First is Megan Gallagher, who was Lieutenant Jaron in the Voyager episode Body and Soul. And then the second relic from Gates McFadden was Beverly Crusher. And that one was from the ep uh, Next Generation episode Lonely Among Us. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which series this is from, but it's must be a new one because the 2014 release, but this is a case topper card. So it's got a 2014 uh, date on it, so it has to be from a fairly new series or or card series. I would like to see them do a new uh, Star Trek show. But these final ones is a relic of Henry Winkler from the Tops American Pie set. Got, got three more printing plates. These, oh, these are from classic vintage movie poster stars, monsters, and comedy trading card series. So we got, got that one. How Roach presents Little Rascals. One of Charlie Chan and at the Olympics. And then the last plate is of the Marx Brothers. So we've got three more for that series. And this final one is a hand drawn sketch card of John Wayne by artist Chris Henderson, who signed it down there at the bottom corner. Well, initial did. That's what he got in. Now for the stuff I got in. I'm Start with these first. I don't know how many of you ever saw the show Eureka. It was, a, it was on Sci Fi Channel. But their cards wasn't put out in regular box form. They all, on the way you could get them, but through uh, print, what they called premium packs that looked like that. So each pack you got two base cards, like one casting call insert, one relic card, and two autographs per. Uh, what they call premium packs. Now, if you look on eBay, most of these, just for one pack, are like between forty-five, fifty dollars. Then one guy on there selling three of these for, I think I gave fifty-two dollars for them. There only there's only three thousand of these made. And each each one had a that little stamp. On. Even the base cards themselves are numbered, are just numbered to 250. So these are uh, the six base cards I got. Now I don't know how many is in the end of the base set, but I bet uh, I might try to put the set of them together. So, 
I said each one's numbered to 250. Let's well, straight the, the insert and the relic cards are actually numbered higher than the base cards. Now, these are the casting call cards, which are numbered to 350. First one is Joe Morton, who was Henry Deacon. Ed Quinn, who played Nathan Stark. And the uh, last one is Matt Frewer, who played Jim Taggart. Now the relics, first one is a Global Dynamic Lab Coat card. These are said number just 350. The uh, Eureka Bowling Shirt, Team Shirt. And then the Area 51 Bowling Shirt. And then finally, the autographs that Shane Solberg was Spencer Martin. Yeah, you can see a little bit there. Pulled two of Neil Grayston, who was the Fargo. No, for some reason, the white part just don't want to show up. This is Barkley Hope, who was General Mansfield. Rob LaBelle, who was Walter Perkins. And probably the best in the set, Erica Serra, who was Joe Lupo. Like the, probably the second uh, main female on the show. So that's all the Eurekas, and here's the rest of the cards that I got. got two different Hillary Duff Ghost Whisperer relic cards. This one is a thin part of her sweater, but this one is thick, and it's part of her, I guess, sweater or whatever it is. Well, next I got two even though I've never seen the show I picked up two Dexter relics and that's part of his uh, apron now this one I like is this is a prop card it's part of the silicone head uh, so, I, so I figured I'd get to actually I liked it I got two heroes relics, which I didn't know at the time, but they're from a different uh, set from what I've been getting. So that's uh, Hiro Nakamura, who was played by Masi Oka. And then uh, uh, Matt Parkman, as part of his uniform. Oh, why doesn't that want to focus? The rest of these are the autographs. Nicholas DeGosto, which I believe I already had. All these are from the Heroes Archives set I was working on. This is Catherine, either Bocher or Bochter, played Alina. Ashley Crow. Who was Sandra Bennett? Then I got two of these because they, both these were the case toppers. This is Don Olivieri. It's got the got the seal. Still, still intact. So there you go. It's, had, yeah, I had two and the sold both of them in one lot, so I just picked both of them up. Well, that's the card pickups. It's already 10 minutes long. But, so, this is my, the one TTM, which is good for, which I like, because it's from a House of Anubis, which is, I've mentioned several times, my favorite show, which sadly is no longer being made. They made it official. 
but this is actress Susie Kane. She was in the final season, and I forgot what character she played already. But she's not all former. Denby. She played uh, Harriet Denby, which didn't know for a while, but that's actually the name of her sister, which she had committed to the uh, the silence. But she was like the main evil woman from the well, final season. But that's that's going to be everything. It's already an 11 minute video just about, so I'll, I'll wait on the logs and do them next time, hopefully. So I'll wrap this up quickly. So hope y'all have a good evening out there. And just have a have a good evening. Stay strong and stay stout. We are Autograph Strong. Talk to you all later.